Hi, welcome back to Nick's Drum Lessons. I'm Nick. Uh, today's lesson is going to be Nick's Drum Lessons number seven in my series. Um, this one I was getting asked a lot about when I did my Lust for Life video. I did a particular lick in that video that I was getting a couple comments on. So I thought I'd just make it one of the licks that we should learn, okay? So this one's based off eighth note triplets, one enda, two enda, three enda, four enda, and it's based off two sticking patterns, okay? Right, left, left, right, left, left, and right, right, left, right, right, left. Now, essential stickings for anybody who's playing in big band or jazz or swing or however you want to classify it. Uh, but let's go over just those two stickings for a moment, okay? You'll notice that if I do the right, left, left, the right is all going to be uh, the toms, and my left's going to be kind of, or in this case, this, the doubles, are gonna be very ghosted, very quiet, so that the right hand takes the lead. So take a listen to that, and again, it would be right, left, left. The next one's going to be right, right, left. Again, I've got a little less possibilities here because it would require a lot of crossovers. Crossovers when you're left, in this case the left, is crossing over the right. You can do a crossover where the right's crossing over the left. Okay, but take a listen. A little less versatile, so I'll just keep it on this guy. Maybe go down, but again, I'm going to stay put over here on that high tom, okay? Take a listen. Again, that was the right, right, left, okay? So the lick is based off those two stickings, all right? So the first bit of it is gonna be right, left, left, right, left, left, right, left. I'm ascending in the tom, so that will get me all the way to the one end of two end of three end of. Take a listen. Once you get done with those, and uh, of the three, which would be those double lefts, I'm going to immediately switch off to the right, right, lefts, and it'd be a set of three of those as well. So it was a set of three right, left, lefts, and now a set of three right, right, lefts. Woo! <laughs> So, again, you had three sets of right, left, lefts. Right, left, left, right, left, left, right, left, left. Now you're gonna have right, right, left, right, right, left, right, right, left. Now, it immediately goes back to the floor tom with a right, left, left, snare, left, left, okay? And that way, if you listen to just the toms and the accented patterns, whether they be on the toms and the last accent is on the snare drum, you have this cool theme that actually emulates the beat to Lust for Life by Iggy Pop. Bum, 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 bum. So again, you'll hear that theme in this pattern. So take a listen to the last little bit. So you can see the full lick there. Ascending, staying put, and then it just goes from a three to a four in that accent pattern. Again, the Tolman's uh, accent pattern will emulate one, two, three, boom, 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 boom. Same melody in, in, in Lust for Life. So take a listen to it again with the Lust for Life beat. Sounds cool. All right, 
so the last one there, I went over to the ride symbol and played a two and four and kept the two and four during that lick, all right? Now, once you can do that, and again, I'm just doing a heel toe, heel toe kind of technique throughout the whole thing, kind of on autopilot. Well, then it, it, it really lends itself to just a typical jazz beat. If you're in jazz band and you see uh, like a two bar fill or two bar solo that you have to take, that lick will sound magnificent. So take a listen. I'm going to do a traditional jazz pattern. Um, and I'll keep the two and four going during the lick and I'll bust right into it. Really a great transition. Cool. As you see, it works really good in jazz, all right? Now, you'll notice that in that last couple variations, I moved the tom patterns over to the crashes and bass, or even the ride and the hi-hat, okay? So basically, replace your toms with the bass and any of the cymbals, and it sounds magnificent. Now, I'll demonstrate it here in kind of a heavy rock, all right? And you'll notice that, okay, I'll use the toms, I'll use the crashes and basses, because I'm using it now in rock, it won't be considered eighth note triplets. It would be now considered 16th note triplets. It will sound the same because I'm just manipulating time a little bit. Um, but again, very useful. Take a listen. Sounds magnificent in that context. Very epic. I used to see all these like videos of Terry Bozio where he'd sound like he was continuously rolling on a snare drum, but you'd hear all these like little themes on the bass on the bass and all these stack cymbals. Well, it's a similar concept. Uh, again, I don't have the Terry Bozio setup, so I apologize. All right, we'll blame Terry Bozio. But anyway, love Terry. Um, so last context I'll show it to you in is in a halftime shuffle. So think your Rosanna's uh, or your Bernard Prudy uh, shuffles. Um, it would sound really cool in this one. So again, it's going to be viewed as 16th note triplets in this context if you're viewing your, your, your beat as a 16th note triplet context, okay? So a little heady, but you'll see the transcription of it on my... Uh, site mixdrumslessons.com and I'll show it to you in two contexts. I'll show you in eighth note triplets as well as sixteenth note triplets, okay? Alright, so that's Nick's drum licks number seven in my series. Again, a very epic triplet based uh, lick that really has a lot of uses. So get your mileage out of it, learn the sticking, experiment where the accent is, 
apply to all these different styles. Again, you'll see the transcription of the lick in two contexts, eighth note triplets and 16th note triplets on my website. And if you have any questions, let me know, uh, subscribe. Uh, not that I ever really you know, ask anybody to do that, but you'll see a lot more videos come your way and when they come out, you'll know about them, all right? So until next time, have fun.